hi guys so today we're back with another fragrance video for you guys and we know you've been loving these so today we decided to do of course a spring edition so today we're doing our top 10 spring scents of 2022 and kendra decided to have us narrow it down to five a piece so that's mm -hmm. why it's only going to be 10 cents in this video and i could have chosen more but i was like no th this is enough because i don't want to overwhelm you guys because you guys know we can talk about products all day long. And I figure five was a good number just because a lot of people like their go-to scents and people don't know what to buy when you mention like 15 to 20 cents and they're just like, okay, what's the best? So I just figure five from each of us can give you guys a really good idea on what to buy this spring so you'll know what your go-to scent could possibly be for this year. Okay, so I used to actually not be into spring scents because you guys Maybe. know I hate floral and yeah you more than me there are very few floral scents that i gravitate to because most of them stink to me and they give me a headache so if you're like me i feel like you're gonna really enjoy some of the scents that i'm mentioning and some of them might not be you know a typical spring scent but i feel like they still go in the spring category so these are not in any particular order so i'm just gonna start with the first one i see and that is chloe the original chloe so you guys know i've been wearing this perfume for years i've talked about it so many times on our channel so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it but I just want to mention how classic this is and if you guys are into classic very timeless really feminine scents this has to be in your spring fragrances collection really soft kind of has a powdery undertone but like not like baby powder but just like a like a rosy powdery scent super super soft but it has like a slight sweetness it's very fresh very very fresh and if fresh you're notes. into like that soapy clean fresh kind of fragrance you're gonna love this also the chloe like line in general has like a lot of versions of this one but nothing tops the original because this one lasts the longest i remember i had a travel size of their chloe rose tangerine one that one is really nice but it did not last on me at all and this one the projection is just so so good I feel like if you have this perfume, you can smell it on anybody. It's a very distinct smell. You can tell when someone is wearing Chloe. It's not offensive and it's a really all around great scent. So you don't have to really wonder if it's appropriate for, you know, work, school, those kind of places. So the notes for this are peony, rose, honey, and cedarwood. So I love this so, so much. You can really smell the peony and the rose in this. Peonies have a very distinct smell. I'm not a huge fan of real flowers, like in real life. I, we like fake flowers, like in our house. No. But when I do smell certain flowers, I do tend to gravitate towards certain flowers and certain flor floral perfumes. So in this video, you guys are gonna see a lot of rose, peony, jasmine. We love like those kind of florals. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of gardenias or lilies or like, I don't really like those kind of flowers, but rose, jasmine, and peony are right up my alley. I'm obsessed with those florals and perfumes. So this one is an all-around classic and I think every girl needs this who likes soapy, fresh, feminine scents. Okay guys, so my first scent is a newer favorite of mine. One of you guys actually put me onto this because I was reading the comments on the vlogs and someone mentioned this scent and I was like, I've never heard of that. I heard of this brand before, but I didn't know they had a pear scent. And this is Juliet Has A Gun Pear Ink. And first of all, can we talk about this packaging? It's so freaking pretty. Yeah, I love Obsessed. The this is the big bottle because when I was inside Sephora, they didn't have the medium size. So I just went ahead and bought this because when I smelled this in the store, I was like transported. I'm telling y'all, it's amazing. It's so unique um, because you guys know pear is one of my favorite scents, but this is one of the more unique pear scents that I've ever smelled. And to me, it's for the girls who like pear scents that like a warmer type pear scent. So this isn't like super fruity in your face. So this is more of a like sexy, warm pear scent to me. Um, like an evening pear. Yeah. Not even, only a day pear. Well, you I can wear, wear it all day. I will wear this during the day. But it's a good transitional. Yeah, I feel like this is a perfect transitional scent. Like if you want to wear something during the day and you want to wear something at night. So if you want to just put like one little mini perfume in your purse, you can put this in there. But this is a really good all day scent to me. So this does say it's in the fresh family. Yes, it is very fresh. It's like nice and clean but it when it settles on your skin that's when you start to smell that warmth and that musky scent um mm. so the scent type is also fresh citrus and fruits but like i said it's, it's not clean. like too fruity i told you it's very clean it's fresh clean. and the key notes for this are green pear accord and broxen whatever that is i'm guessing it's in the amber family and then musk so when it settles on the skin that's when it becomes very warm and musky 
not musty. People be confused in that. Musky means like warm, skin like. Musk is like, yeah, skin. Skin like, that's mm -hmm. what it means. Soft. So very soft, exactly. So that's actually in the animal family to me. Like, yeah, musk is like very soft. Soft. Mm -hmm. Has like a slight clean. I think that's woodsy. also why I like how this settles. So the musk and amber like undertone make this great for evening as well. And then the fruitiness and the freshness make it great for daytime. And when you merge the two together, it just makes for the perfect all day scent. Mm -hmm. So to me, this one is like very, very universal. I feel like anybody would like this, especially if you like pear, but if you're trying to like look for a unique pear scent, this is where you need to go. Okay, so my second one is from Mason Margiela, the replica line. You guys know Kelsey and I love a lot of perfumes from this brand. Mm -hmm. And this one came out, I think recently, and it's When the Rain Stops. I think I recently talked about this one, you guys, and I can't stop wearing it. As you can see, I've used quite a lot. I've used quite a lot of these, actually, except for one, because it's the most expensive. But this one, I love how soft, but floral, but warm it is. It has like a slight warmth to it. That's like, it smells like the name pretty much. It smells like after it's raining, kind of wet, like aquatic, but has like a really like rosy, soft, feminine undertone. So the notes for this one are Aquatic Accord Rose Petal and Pine Needle. This is like a very unique floral to me. It's not like your typical super like girly floral. It's like the girl who loves like the clean, go-to simple fresh smell almost unisex yeah almost unisex in a way kind of like bubble bath but this is slightly more feminine than bubble bath to me i'm not gonna lie i like this one a little bit more than bubble bath even though i love both of them this is also a good like workout kind of uh spring fragrance like if you go walking jogging it's really good for pilates. Gym, pilates yeah because i wear it to pilates all the time and i smell myself and it just smells really fresh but calming at the same time because like the name says when the rain stops it kind of gives you like the essence of calm so that's what mm -hmm. i love about these scents because they, they take you to like a place it's supposed to be based on like a memory and a fragrance i do think this is a really good daytime scent though chloe i think is a great like all day kind of scent in the springtime although i think of brunch when i smell chloe like brunch with the girls that's what chloe smells like to me yeah. but this is a really just good like daytime running errands kind of scent so love this, although I wish it lasted a little longer. After two hours, I will respray. Chloe lasts all day, I'm telling y'all. It's like the longest lasting clean smell that I have. Okay, so you guys know we could not do this video without mentioning a Nest scent. I feel like Nest has some of the most amazing spring scents in my yeah. opinion, because they're really known for floral scents. Mm -hmm. And the one I'm gonna mention in this video is Sunkissed Hibiscus. I just showed this in the Sephora haul, and I must say, I'm obsessed. I discovered this in Kendra's closet, i.e. Sephora 2.0, and I became obsessed instantly. So this is also in the Fresh family, just like the scent I just mentioned, but this says it's Fresh Solar um, scent type, whatever the hell that means. Um, but the keynotes for this are Frang Penny, Frangy Penny. It's a flower. Really? I've never heard of that in my uh -huh. life. Okay, um, Orange Blossom and Golden Amber. So this also, I don't know what's up with me and Amber. Um, it's this really also, warm to me. Yeah, this also has amber in it as well. And I love how the Orange Blossom settles on the skin mixed with the amber, kind of like Pear Ink. I feel like this is also a really good transitional all day scent because the orange gives it that nice daytime, fresh, awake smell with the freshness. And then the nighttime scent is where the amber comes in it. So the golden amber is beautifully mixed with the orange to me. And to me, this also just smells like, it's just really flirty and girly to me. It's kind of nostalgic. I feel like it smells like something I would have like picked up at Limited 2 when I was little. You know, you used to go to like Limited 2 and like smell like some of the perfumes and like look at the lip glosses. This smells like childhood to me, but more elevated. Got it. It's just makes really sense. sweet. It's like a warm, sweet floral to me. Yes, this is in the sweet family to me. So if you don't like sweet, florals you probably won't like this i would not recommend wearing this if you're going to be sitting outside somewhere though yeah because the sweetness of this might have bees swarming gotcha <laughs> because you know springtime the bees be out mm -hmm. especially down here um so this is on the sweeter side but if you do like a sweet juicy like orange blossomy amber scent this is for you it's super girly and i'm obsessed with it i love it while we're on the topic of Nest, the next one I have is Wild Poppy. This, mm -hmm. I feel like it's the go-to spring scent of the year to me. Like of nice. this year, it smells like the ultimate spring scent. Like you don't have to think about nothing when you put this on, you just grab it and go. Keep it, you know, in your purse. Well, it's the small one. This is the perfect go-to spring scent. It's the perfect fruity floral. 
and this could actually transition really well into the summer as well mm. but it has like a very juicy smell initially and for me i'm not gonna lie when i smell this i literally think of like a date night you're getting ice cream you're walking so like a casual date like night. a casual date night it's mm. not like a fancy kind of smell it's more of a casual smell but it smells really sexy like it's like fruity girly very fresh fruity. And I love like the juiciness of it. It's very plump smelling. Mm -hmm. That very makes juicy, sense. like a plump piece of fruit. Yes, <laughs> that's what I think of when I smell the juiciness in this. Yeah. Cause some perfumes have like a juiciness, but it's not very heavy on the juicy. Mm -hmm. This is, and it's so weird because the name is called Wild Poppy, and it smells more fruity to me. I agree. Than floral. Than floral. Yeah. So the notes for this are Rose de Grassy. The grass, Himalayan jasmine, and pear. You for sure smell the pear in this, and you for sure smell the jasmine. It has a really nice sweet jasmine smell, and the pear is definitely prominent in this scent. So if you're a pear lover, you're gonna love this. It also lasts for a really good amount of time compared mm -hmm. to some of my other nest scents. This is one of the ones that projects really well. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for a nest scent that's fresh and fruity, this is your girl. Yeah, I got the big one you guys saw in the haul. I just so went ahead and got the huge size because for some reason, all of their perfumes don't come in the large size. I don't know why. But I did get Wild Poppy in the large size and I've been using the crap out of it. I've been using it when I get out of the shower so good. and to go out and I'm obsessed with it. I also like to mix it with Sunkissed Hibiscus. So these mix really nicely if you want to try that out too to create like your own unique spring scent. Hmm. So these mix together, bomb. Okay, so next I have a scent that I have mentioned before. I think this was in the seductive scents, was it? I think so. We maybe. Had, like maybe two. Uh, yeah, it was because we had both of them, Intense and the original. Okay, you're right. Mm -hmm. So this is Burberry Her, the original. Kendra also put me onto this scent and she sprayed it on. She didn't show it to me yet. She just said, hey, smell this, do you like this? And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? And yeah. ever since then I've been hooked. I had two perfumes on actually. I had one on one wrist and one on the other and I asked her which one of these do you like the best because I was trying to figure out what to get you like for her birthday. And yeah, I like this one better. As soon as she smelled this, she was like, what is that? I can smell the berries, it's sweet, it's girly, it's sexy. I mean, it's a reason this is a pretty pink bottle because this is so girly. Like, it smells like a pretty girl. It's so girly. So mm -hmm. if you don't like girly scents, like these two are complete opposites. Yeah. Like they're so opposite, I can't even describe to you. Like seriously so opposite, but still beautiful in their own way. So this is in the floral family, but to me it smells more fruity in it's my opinion. Sweet floral. It is sweet. Um, the scent type is fruity floral, and the key notes for this are dark berries, jasmine, and musk amber. The third scent I've mentioned with amber in it. That's the sexiness. Like when it dries down, it's a lot warmer. It's yes. less like floral. It has like a very skin-like smell. It's it not smells too very luxe. It doesn't have a crispness mm -hmm. like some of the other ones we just mentioned. It's very warm and sexy. Yeah, like warm, mm -hmm. smooth. Yes, you love smell it. delicious. Very signature. This. Very signature. You just smell so good with this. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's very, very girly and super fruity. Yes. So if you like juicy scents, then you would be obsessed with this. I'm telling you, it's amazing. And I would recommend go ahead and get the big bottle because. I just can't get enough. So speaking of the Burberry Her fragrance family, I have another version of it that I've been loving and I can't stop wearing. I've been wearing it nonstop. Yeah. I actually mentioned this perfume in our most recent vlog or the one before that I think. One of our most recent vlogs on the vlog channel. I feel like some of y'all bought that after I mentioned this because when I go on Sephora now, like two of the sizes are out of stock and they weren't before. So this is Burberry Her Blossom. You guys, I can't stop wearing this. It has more of a floral scent to it than the original. The original is a lot more sweet and warm. Mm -hmm. This one is a yep. true floral to me and it has like a really like fresh, airy lightness to mm -hmm. it. It's very light and airy. Airy, I agree. And if you guys remember Sweet Pea back in the day, this is the bougier version of Sweet Pea yep. pretty much. That's so. exactly what I told her when I smelled it. I used I was, to wear that so much. I, I remember like, I used to get the little body spray at Walmart. Walmart. I was like, Kendra, this, I said, don't take offense to this, but this smells like Sweet Pea. I wasn't pea. offended. I thought you were gonna be at first, but I, I meant it in a good way, but I was like, this smell like if Sweet Pea like, you know, grew up and bossed up. Yeah, it's more elevated. Yeah. It's more elevated Sweet Pea. It's so but nice. every time I kept wearing this, Kelsey kept asking me, what is that? What are you wearing? It's so fresh, but like girly and like feminine. I love the Burberry Her family scents. Yeah, I have not smelled one that I don't like yet. Yeah, at me all. either. So this has 
mandarin plum blossom and sandalwood and it's a fruity floral sandalwood. i don't really smell the mandarin i do smell the sandalwood and i do smell the plum blossom i smell the plum blossom i don't smell the orange mandarin sm no not really i don't smell sandalwood you don't mm -mm. Uh, you have to wear it on the skin longer oh. to get the sound of wood, okay. but it's so, so good. If you guys are looking for like a go-to like feminine daytime, mm -hmm. this is so, so good. Especially if you used to like sweet pea back in the day, she grew up. Okay, y'all, so I promise this is the last Burberry scent we're going to talk about today. <laughs> so this is my Burberry and this is Burberry Blush. So this is a new favorite because I just showed this in the Sephora haul. It's Kendra's fault because she bought this first and right when I smelled it, I went on Sephora and place another order. So this is the epitome of clean, fresh, so fresh and so clean, clean. That's exactly what this is. So mm -hmm. if you like, kind of like the Chloe family scent that Kendra yes. mentioned, this is in the same family as that. Same family as Chloe. It's very fresh, very clean, and kind of soft. It's like if fruit and clean, it was like a soapy pomegranate, honestly. There you go. Oh, that's the perfect description, a soapy pomegranate. Mm -hmm. So if you like like a nice fruity juiciness with more like clean, I would gravitate towards this if I were you, if you like that. Mm -hmm. Fresh out of the shower. Yes, definitely fresh out of the shower. This says the family is floral and the scent type is fruity florals. And then the keynotes are pomegranate, rose, and jasmine. I knew you was gonna like this because of the rose. Mm -hmm. She's obsessed with rose. So this is such a nice scent. I love, love, love this for the daytime. So this would be perfect during the day. You don't have to worry about bees swarming you or no. anything. Like mm -hmm. this is a safe sit outside scent. <laughs> so if you go into like a baby shower outside, bridal shower, if you're Southern, you know what I'm talking about. Cause there's yes. certain scents that you can't be wearing to no barbecue or nothing. Cause you're gonna be true. doing this the whole time. Um, so yeah, this is the perfect everyday scent. I feel like you can wear this to work. You can wear this to lunch or brunch. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend this for nighttime, me personally. No. This isn't a nighttime scent. It's a little too light. Yes, oh, exactly. Scent. Unless you would like to spray this out of the shower before you go to bed and you just want to smell extra yeah, clean. It's, I think it's a great out of the shower, like pre-bed mm -hmm. perfume. Yeah, but I mean like nighttime, like go out to dinner. No. Have drink. It it's not girls. No, this isn't like mm -hmm. sexy enough for that. No. But it's like perfect for every other occasion to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so speaking of dinner nighttime scents that are really sexy, my last scent is one that I have been obsessed with, but I wear sparingly because this brand is not the cheapest, but I do love, love this brand so, so much. And the perfume that I have here is the Labo's Noir 29. I love this perfume. I have the matching body oil. It's so, so bomb. Mind so bomb. sexy, so feminine and seductive, but really calming. It almost has kind of a unisex mm -hmm. kind of scent to it. Yes. I feel like if you love like that Lalabo signature smell, you're gonna love this one. I love this even more than Santal 33, 33, which is, is a better. really popular scent. This is better to me. This is better, although I do wear Santal 33 to bed sometimes because it's a very bedtime spa-like smell. It is, I still have some oil left over, but my this oil that I had is, is gone. I'm sure you used it I used I actually used the last little bit of it in a night routine I did. It's really, really good. If you guys love like a woodsy, slightly sweet, but really like feminine, soft, sexy smell, mm -hmm. You're gonna love this. I've gotten complimented on this multiple times. It's honestly kind of like an understated bougie. It's not really loud and intense like the, a lot of the perfumes that I have. It has like a really nice understated like mm -hmm. fragrance to it, but yeah. it's still prominent if that makes sense. It's like a quiet confidence yes. perfume. It's like if quiet confidence was a perfume, it would be it would New be that. 29. It's kind of comforting to me. Like it smells like the person that always smell good, but you always want to know what they got on. Yes, it's very unique. If you guys smells like. love unique scents, you're mm -hmm. gonna love this. Not that the other ones are not unique. They are. They're just like right on the nose, like feminine, you know, spring smells. Early, fruity, floral, sexy, sexy. Sweet. They're very specific, like him. Yes, said. this is not. I can't very really specific. put it in a category. No, you cannot. So it's extremely unique. So I'm gonna tell you guys the notes, and the the notes are pretty unique as well. <laughs> My perfume. So the notes for this are bergamot, bay leaves, black tea, fig, hay, tobacco, cedarwood, vetiver, and musk. Look, that's a lot. Fig. It's a nice blend of very unique notes. Uh -huh. So if you guys love like woodsy scents, like the vetiver, like musk, if you guys love fig, I'm a huge fan of fig. Every fig perfume that I've ever had, I love. Obsessed. And this 
is at the top with some of my favorite fig perfumes. You guys have to try this if you're looking for something really unique because I can't get enough. But I should probably wear this more. I think this is going to be like my go-to nighttime spring smell. Okay. Like it's good for like dinner nights out, yeah. the movies. Like I think I would love this for nighttime in the spring. Also, this projects really well even though it is like a soft kind mm -hmm. of smell. Because yes. Kelsey smelled it on me today. And I've gotten complimented on this every single time I've worn it. So mm -hmm. she's a good one. Okay, so my last scent is also a niche brand. So like the Lilabo one, it's not cheap. Uh, well, none of these are cheap, but they're a little more affordable than the niche brands. Yeah. Uh, but this is from the brand Montal Paris. I think I've mentioned a perfume from them before. Yeah. Yes, in the fall video, I mentioned the honey one. Honey, honey Oud. Oud. Mm -hmm. Bomb. So this is, to me, one of their best spring scents. This is Candy Rose. First of all, this packaging is so cute. Let me take this off because it's so I like hard. these because they are the easiest to travel with. I have smaller ones that I keep in my purse actually. So you can get these in many if you don't want to commit to the big ones. Like travel sizes. Just yet because they are pretty expensive. And if you want to test them out, they do give you like tester boxes. So that's also really good too. I like that about this um, brand. Um, but specifically Candy Rose to me is like one of the ultimate like girly, but kind of vintagey spring scents. Like it has like this vintage timeless, timeless essence mm -hmm. that it has it's to me. It's the rose. It is? You think it's so? the rose I think. Yeah, I think you're right. It is the rose. It's very clean. When you first spray it, I'm not gonna lie, it's like you're not obsessed with it, but the longer it's the on dry the skin, to me, you mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, that's good. It's magical. Yes. It transforms once it hits the, the skin. skin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this works beautifully with body chemistry. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't this spray it on clothes. No, this is not a spray on your clothes scent because yeah. most scents you can spray on your clothes and your body, mm -hmm. but this to me you have to spray on the skin. Mm -hmm. And I feel like honestly it will smell different on everybody because it is so unique and it has so many notes. Speaking mm -hmm. of, okay, so the notes for this are red fruits, lychee, blood orange, roses, lilies, white musk, and vanilla. So in that order, that's what you smell, honestly. You get the red fruits first, yeah, then the lychee. Then the blood orange. The roses. Then that's when the roses hit. Mm -hmm. That's when you smell the white musk after that. And then at the end, once it like really settles on the skin, that's when you smell the vanilla. So I think the, the name of this is so unique, like candy rose, mm -hmm. because it's not just rose. No, There's so not. many other things, like I just mentioned. A delicious rose, like a really good drink. You know that those fancy drinks at some restaurants that they put flowers in? Yeah. That's kind of what this smells like. Mm -hmm. Like a drink, like a fruity drink with like a flower in it. That's what this smells like. Gotcha. I think I said this in the uh, video where I mentioned Honey Oud. If you go on this site, you're gonna be scrolling for a while. They have so many different fragrances. It's very overwhelming, not gonna it lie. Yes, but they do have something for everybody. Your mama, your cousin, auntie, you. They have cologne. You, you, mm -hmm. if you're me. <laughs> Every time I shop for somebody else, I end up finding something for yeah, myself. Me too. Okay guys, so that wraps up our spring fragrances of 2022. Let us know in the comments if you're gonna try any of these for this year. And we will be doing a summer fragrances if you guys want that. Let us know if you wanna see a summer fragrances video. We can do a top 10 of those as well if you would like to see that. So we will have all these spring fragrances linked in the description box if you guys are interested. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.